Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new chapter. That's name is Puru the Brave. It's chapter number nine. So let's start very first the introduction part of this chapter because it has one character, Alexander the Great. So let's start understanding who is Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great was the son of King Philip II of Macedonia in ancient Greece. He was tutored by the great philosopher Aristotle in politics, war, philosophy, and Greek culture. At the age of 16, Alexander took control of the Macedonian army and gained his soldiers respect for his bravery and battle strategies. Now I'm going to explain this much. Alexander the Great was the son of King Philip II of Macedonia in ancient Greece. So there is a place in ancient Greece, Macedonia. From there one king belongs to that place, King Philip II. And Alexander was the son of that king. He was tutored. Tutored matlab samjhaya jana, padhaya jana ya sikhaya jana. So that was a famous philosopher Aristotle or in Hindi mein Aristu bhi bolte hain. Unhone unko war, philosophy or Greek cultures related jitna bhi uh, knowledge tha unko diya. At the age of 16, Alexander took control of Macedonian army and gained his soldiers respect for his bravery. So at the very early age of 16, Alexander ne control karke rakha Macedonian army ko aur maha ke soldiers ki respect uh, Lee और साथ ही साथ अपनी bravery और battle strategies की वजह से soldiers उनकी बहुत ही respect करते थे he became the king of Macedonia at the age of 20 when his father was murdered and after his father was murdered he became the king of Macedonia he fought many battles for the next 13 years and won them all whatever battles he fought every battle he won he died of fever at the age of 32 as the ruler of the largest western empire in the ancient world so what it means in the age of 32 he was died so this much is all about alexander the great and one question is there which of the following qualities was displayed by alexander at the age, young age that was bravery okay that is displayed by alexander so this much is all about a short introduction of alexander let's move for the chapter maybe you thought about ki the chapter is puru the brave then why we are uh, reading about alexander's bravery because both of the characters are related with the chapter okay so because of this alexander's introduction is very important so alexander defeats puru in the battle of chelam why does he want to make friends with puru that's very important jisko uh, battle mein ya yuddh mein haraya gaya usse aakhir koi friendship kyu karna chahega yes so this is a very interesting story so here two characters are main alexander and puru alexander i have told the king of macedonia who conquered greece and persia and puru was the king of northern india at that time four greeks generals and six soldiers were also there in the play so it is in a dramatic form so the whole chapter is in a dramatic dramatic means it is in a dialogue form some dialogues were there characters are there so that's why it's very interesting so let's start uh, very first scene is there the camp of Alexander on the banks of Jhelum. Inside the tent, Alexander is sitting on a high chair and his four generals are sitting on the low chair. Two Greek soldiers are standing at the door. Alexander is having a talk with his generals. You can say these four lines are scenes description. Us scene mein kaisa mahal tha, kaise log baithe the. That is described here. So let's start the chapter and start with the dialogue delivery. The Battle of Jhelum will go down in the history of our country. It'll go down in the history of India too, sir. It'll go down in the history of the world. I have never fought such a battle before. I haven't either. Until the last moment, I couldn't believe that we would be able to defeat the army of Poros. Yes. It has been a great battle, perhaps the greatest of my life. I must say, every Indian shoulder fought like a tiger. They fought like devils, Your Majesty. The Indians are good soldiers. They know how to fight. They fight better than our men. But their generals are not as good as ours. So here in this page number 107, we started the chapter. Alexander told that the Battle of Jhelum, which was fought between Porus and Alexander, 
that was a history okay and all four generals are somehow they are uh, talking about that battle I, i will go down in the history of india then it's a history of world ye hamare world ki history mein ya india ki history mein first time hua hai aur aisi battle humne kabhi bhi nahi ladi hai sare generals ye agree kar rahe the ki aisi battle ऐसी डिफीट कभी नहीं हुई है वी वुड बी एबल टू डिफीट द आर्मी ऑफ पोरस और फाइनली दे वर हैप्पी बिकॉज दे डिफीट पोरस अलेक्जेंडर से इज येस इट वॉज ग्रेट बैटल पर हैप्स द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ आई मस्ट से एवरी इंडियन सोल्जर फॉट लाइक अ टाइगर सो इन शॉर्ट यू कैन से अलेक्जेंडर वॉज सम हाउ वेरी इम्प्रेस्ड फ्रॉम इंडियन सोल्जर्स एंड ही सम हाउ प्रेज्ड इंडियन सोल्जर्स दे फॉट लाइक अ टाइगर ओके देन फर्स्ट जनरल से इज नो नो इट्स लाइक अ दे फॉट लाइक अ डेवल डेवल मतलब बुरी आत्माओं की तरह लड़ना बट uh, फिर अलेक्जेंडर उनको करेक्ट करते हुए बोलते हैं नो इंडियंस आर गुड सोल्जर्स इवन दे फॉट बेटर देन आर मैंस है ना सो दिस मच इज ऑल अबाउट अलेक्जेंडर्स नाउ सेकेंड जनरल से इज बट डे जनरल्स आर नॉट गुड एज आज तो सम हाउ दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वॉर दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डेयर सोल्जर्स ओके सो दिस मच इज ऑल अबाउट दिस पेज नेक्स्ट मूव फॉर फॉर द नेक्स्ट पेज If you mean they are not as brave as Greek generals, I don't agree with you. But they are not very skillful, Your Highness. I see what you mean, and here I agree with you. The Indian generals are still following the old methods of warfare. Their battle plans are faulty, and they depend too much upon their elephants. But as fighters. they are wonderful i have the greatest respect for them i was amazed to see how porus fought in the battle of jhelum he continued to fight even when others had left the field i think he killed at least a hundred of our men with his sword and injured many more he was badly injured himself now it's time to explain this one so alan zender somehow disagree with all the journals because they want to try that uh, greeks were good in uh, war or battle techniques but he also says that uh, indian soldiers were also good second general but they are not very skillful your highness then alexander again says i see what you mean and here i agree with you because they are not uh, very much no about new techniques old methods of warfare they were used who indian mm, soldiers their battle plans are also very faulty but it depends on because they were dependent on elephants but as a fighter they were wonderful indian soldiers were wonderful i have the greatest respect for them so somehow alexander shows respect towards indian soldiers third general i was amazed to see how porus fought in the battle of thelam so third general uh, explained about porus or he praised about porus that he was amazed to see how porus fought in the battle fourth general he continued to fight even when others had left i think he killed at least a hundred of our men with his sword so fourth general says uh, he was so such a brave person that he killed at least 100 of our soldiers not even killed but he injured many more soldiers he was badly injured himself or finally because of injuredness he was lost that battle so this much is about porus let's turn the page and understand more and more about this story that's why we were able to capture porus oh he is a brave man and a great soldier i wish he was one of my generals he is a proud man your majesty a soldier is not a soldier if he is not proud i am not at all angry with him he was not frightened by the news of my victories and refused to bow before me he will be brought to your majesty soon let us see how he behaves I am sure he will not behave like a coward. Sir, Porus has been brought to the camp. Has he been put in chains? Yes, me your majesty. So here a uh, second general says let's see how he behaves. 
because of injuredness he was captured alexander says ha yes this the man was very brave person porus was really brave uh, i wish he could be one of my generals then second general says um, he is very proud man bahut hi ghamandi type ka vyakti hai wo then alexander says i am not angry with him all because a soldier is not soldier when he is not proud of him he was not frightened when frightened means dara hua usne kabhi bhi meri victory ko sunkar dara hua nahi dikhaya wo hamesha apni bahaduri se lada he refused to bow bow matlab jhuk jana mere samne jhukne se usne mana kar diya then first general says yes he will be brought to your majesty aapke samne wo jaldi hi leke aa jayega tab dekhte hain wo kaisa behave karta hai i am sure he will not behave like a coward alexander was very much sure that he was not a kaya kaya means uh, jo peet dikha ke bhag jaye aisa nahi hai he was a brave man so because of this he so much he was so much excited to meet that person porus सोल्जर सर पोरस हैज़ बिन ब्रॉड टू द कैम्प देन अलेक्जेंडर से इस क्या उसे चेन में बंद करके रखा गया है देन सेल सोल्जर से इज येस मच इस दिस मच इज ऑल अबाउट लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड गो एंड रिमूव द चेन्स एंड ब्रिंग हिम इन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी अ ब्रेव मैन एंड चेन्स दे शुड नॉट बी हैव पुट हिम इन चेन्स ही इज अ किंग बिसाइड्स बींग अ ग्रेट सोल्जर so here as you can see alexander was very much in angriness why because he doesn't want to put that person porus in chain because he is so much a brave person and he doesn't want to see him in chains so because of this he ordered that he is a king besides being a great soldier so remove those chains pro enters with four greek soldiers following him alexander and the generals stand up to greet him Puru joins the palms of his hand and raises them to his forehead to return the greeting. Okay, so when Puru enters, then sol Greek soldiers and Alexander generals all stand up to greet him. So because of uh, returning of that greeting, Puru joins his palms and raises them forehead to return the greeting. So एक तरीके से जैसे उन्होंने उसका welcome किया तो इसने भी उनको वापस में अपना हाथ जोड़कर उनको उनकी जो ग्रीटिंग्स थी वो एक्सेप्ट की अलेक्जेंडर टू द सोल्जर्स यू मे गो अब उन्होंने सोल्जर्स को जाने के लिए बोल दिया अलेक्जेंडर टू पुरु वेल हाउ आर यू बोरस पोरस माई नेम इज पुरु तो यहाँ पर अलेक्जेंडर ने पूछा कि हाउ आर यू पोरस तो वहाँ पर उन्होंने उस उन्हें रोकते हुए बोला कि मेरा नाम पोरस नहीं मेरा नाम पुरु है लेट सी द नेक्स्ट पेज और राइट और यू सॉरी फॉर द मिस्टेक्स यू मेड पुरु I have made no mistake so didn't you reject my proposal I did I refused to be your vessel do you know that many kings have gladly agreed to be my vessels I know that and I also know that none of them is puru so let's try to understand this much सो अलेक्जेंडर सेज कि आर यू फीलिंग सॉरी वॉट यू हैव डन तो पुरु सेज नो आई डिडेंट मेड एनी मिस्टेक मैंने कोई मिस्टेक नहीं की है अलेक्जेंडर सेज कि आपने मेरे प्रपोजल को एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया डिडेंट यू रिजेक्ट माई प्रपोजल सो पुरु सेज येस आई डेड आई रिफ्यूज टू बी योर वेसल वेसल मीन्स वॉट कि किसी किंग को ये कह देना कि मैं आपके आपके थ्रू किसी स्टेट को गवर्न करूँगा मतलब कि उसके लैंड को की देख रेख मैं करूँगा बाकी किंग वही रहेंगे तो ऐसा एक्सेप्ट कर लेना तो ऐसा एक्सेप्ट करने से पोरस ने मना कर दिया था डू यू नो दैट मैनी किंग्स हैव ग्लैडरी अग्रीड तो अलेक्जेंडर ने ये बोला कि तुम्हें पता है कि कितने सारे किंग्स ने ये सब एक्सेप्ट किया है बट यू डिडेंट सो पुरु सेज आई नो दैट एंड आई ऑल्सो दैट नन ऑफ दैम पुरु तो पुरु ने ये बोला कि आपको ये तो पता है कि कई सारे किंग्स ने ये एक्सेप्ट किया बट उनमें से किसी भी राजा का नाम पुरु नहीं था सो दैट्स द बिहेवियर ऑफ पुरु ही वॉज सो प्राउड ऑफ हिम ही इज इंडीड अ वेरी प्राउड मैन डोंट यू रियलाइज दैट यू आर माय प्रेजन आई डू बट दैट डजेंट मेक्स एनी डिफरेंस टू मी I am still the lawful king of my country.
तो यहाँ पर पर्टिकुलर इन दीज टू लाइन्स में अलेक्जेंडर ने बोला कि क्या तुम्हें महसूस नहीं हो रहा यू आर माई प्रिजनर प्रिजनर मीन्स कैदी तुम मेरे कैदी हो तो पुरु ने बोला येस आई नो दैट बट इट डजेंट मेक एनी डिफरेंस ये मेरे लिए कोई डिफरेंस मैटर नहीं करता बिकॉज आई एम ऑल्सो अ किंग देन अलेक्जेंडर आस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन हाउ सेल आई ट्रीट यू एज किंग शुड अनदर किंग पुरु यू आर अ ब्रेव मैन आई एम प्लेस विद यू आई वॉन्ट टू बी फ्रेंड्स विद यू विल यू बी फ्रेंड्स टू मी ऑन वन कंडीशन What is that condition? My kingdom should remain independent, and you should treat me as your equal. So when Alexander asked him, "Ki how will I treat you? Me, me, and tumhare saath kaise hai vyavar karu?" That time, Puru answered that as a king behave to another king. जैसे एक राजा दूसरे राजा से behave करता है, वैसे ही आपको मेरे साथ behave करना चाहिए. ये answer सुनकर Alexander बहुत खुश हुए. I am pleased with you. And he said that Puru, you are a brave man. Uh, I want to be friendship with you. I want to have a friendship with you. Will you be my my friend? So Puru says on one condition only. Then uh, Alexander asked, what is that condition? Then uh, Puru says, my kingdom should remain independent, and you should treat me as your equal. So my kingdom is, which is my kingdom, will always be independent, that is, free, will always be free from you. और आप मुझे एक राजा की तरह ही ट्रीट करेंगे एकदम अपने बराबर में सो दैट वॉज द नेचर ऑफ पुरु ही वॉज सो ब्रेव मैन ही वॉज सो इंटेलिजेंट मैन दैट ही एक्सेप्टेड द फ्रेंडशिप ऑफ दैट अलेक्जेंडर बट ही ऑल्सो पोर्ट वन कंडीशन इवन दो ही वॉज आ प्रिजनर देयर अग्रीड आई एम प्राउड ऑफ यू एंड योर फ्रेंडशिप माई ब्रदर आई एल डू माई बेस्ट टू बी वर्दी ऑफ द फ्रेंडशिप ऑफ अलेक्जेंडर The great. So finally, Alexander agreed all the conditions. One conditions which he put that his kingdom should be independent, and he was happy to have the friendship with him. Then Puru says, "Yes, I uh, just try to be uh, best, to be worthy of the friendship of that Alexander the Great." The generals, both Alexander and Puru. So in this way, two uh, brave men, Alexander and Puru, become friends. so i think you all know about that why the chapter name is puru the brave okay instead of alexander the great okay so this is really a very nice story to understand it and to learn from this that you should be brave okay so we'll do these question answer in the next part let's start enjoy the animation This animation video is taken from Oxford Educate website. So let's enjoy the animation. Part Puru of this the Brave, the camp of Alexander on the banks of the Jhelum. Inside a tent, Alexander is sitting on a high chair, and his four generals are sitting on low chairs. Two Greek soldiers are standing at the door. Alexander is having a talk with his generals. The Battle of Jhelum will go down in the history of our country. It'll go down in the history of India too. It will go down in the history of the world. I've never fought such a battle before. I haven't either. Until the last moment, I couldn't believe that we would be able to defeat the army of Porus. Yes, it has been a great battle, perhaps the greatest of my life. I must say, every Indian soldier fought like a tiger. They fought like devils, Your Majesty. The Indians are good soldiers. They know how to fight. They fight better than our men, but their generals aren't as good as ours. If you mean they aren't as brave as the Greek generals, I don't agree with you. But they aren't very skillful, your highness. I see what you mean. And here I agree with you. The Indian generals are still following the old methods of warfare. Their battle plans are faulty. and they depend too much upon their elephants but as fighters they are wonderful i have the greatest respect for them i was amazed to see how porus fought in the battle of jhelum he continued to fight even when others had left the field i think he killed at least 100 of our men with his sword and injured many more he was badly injured himself that's why we were able to capture him oh He's a brave man and a great soldier. I wish he were one of my generals. He's a proud man, your majesty. 
A soldier is not a soldier if he is not proud. I am not at all angry with him. He was not frightened by the news of my victories and refused to bow before me. He will be brought to your majesty soon. Let us see how he behaves. I am sure he will not behave like a coward. Sir, Porus has been brought to the camp. Has he been put in chains? Yes, your majesty. Go and remove the chains and bring him in. I don't want to see a brave man in chains. They should not have put him in chains. He is a king besides being a great soldier. You may go. Well, how are you, Porus? My name is Puru. All right. Are you sorry for the mistake you made, Puru? I made no mistake, sir. Didn't you reject my proposal? I did. I refused to be your vassal. Do you know that many kings have gladly agreed to be my vassals? I know that. And I also know that none of them is Puru. He is indeed a very proud man. Don't you realize that you are my prisoner? I do. But that doesn't make any difference to me. I am still the lawful king of my country. How shall I treat you? As a king should another king. Puru, you are a brave man. I'm pleased with you. I want to be friends with you. Will you be a friend to me? On one condition. What is that condition? My kingdom should remain independent. And you should treat me as your equal. Agreed. I am proud of your friendship, my brother. I'll do my best to be worthy of the friendship of Alexander the Great.